people why you're dressed the way you are? You mean? Uh, we are dressed as handmaids from Margaret Atwood's book, The Handmaid's Tale. Why? There are many reasons. The, uh, take your pick, really. Uh, the book covers a lot of issues. The Overall, it's really just a symbol against the far right uh, and uh, not to be complacent and to, to uh, use your voice. And, and Posey, why have you decided to do it? Well, the thing about dystopian fiction, the clue is in the name. It's supposed to be fiction. But actually, a book that was written nearly 20 years ago, there are alarming parallels with a lot of the decisions that are happening in America through Trump's administration um, around women's rights, around their treatment of the LGBT community, um, around people of color, and the treatment of immigrants as well. Just going to uh, interrupt you for a moment because the convoy is just leaving Buckingham Palace behind me and you can see that extensive convoy those vehicles brought in for this visit as they were last year and last year when President Trump was here the it was the helicopter that carried him around but this time he is in that armored vehicle that nine ton vehicle and that is going to be taking him the short distance now from here to St. James's Palace and you'll see just behind, I'm not sure if you can just, you'll be able to see, but there's sort of further down in the convoy, there's a, vi a vehicle with flashing lights. That is the ambulance that carries the president's blood. That is always the case whenever a US president travels. And uh, so that convoy carrying uh, the president, the first lady and the entourage just going that very short distance but it is going to mean that he's going to see the protests on the ground last year in order to avoid having to come face to face with the protesters. As I said the uh, president uh, travelled around by Marine One and uh, one of the, the, the events was Blenheim Palace outside of London. of course and in order for protesters to have their their message seen in some cases there were messages um, carved in the form of crop circles on the ground but here uh, he may well be able to actually hear but certainly see the protesters who are going to be out in force uh, around London today well as I said we are joined here by two protesters and uh, it's Yumi and Posey and Posey you were just explaining uh, what it is that you are concerned about about the, the, the Trump administration which has made you dress up as you are today and, and go out and protest. Sure I mean we're at speaking as an American we're at a very dark point in our history the Trump administration is being ruled in a very despotic way the decisions that they're making they're really just continually assaulting people of color, the LGBT community, women, children, immigrants, there's nobody that they won't go after. And it's really important for us and for our other protesters that we're going to be meeting up with today that we are standing up and saying, we see you, we hear you, we are your allies, and we will not tolerate this. So when you say continually assaulting, explain more about what, what well, if you look at if you look at all the decisions and the changes that have been made in, across the last two years to women's rights, take the recent um, situation around that that um, abortion is no longer legal in, in Missouri I mean that that's a horrific backstep 50 years to to women being basically the property of men and not having rights and not being able to decide what they want to do with their own bodies and it's just horrifying the the parallels when you when you look at books like Handmaid's Tale and you think it, we're not that far off in many ways from quite scary totalitarian decisions and the quote that you've got there i mean because obviously you know it's it's a long way sure. from what you're you're talking about your concerns from where we are now but I guess your quote kind of sums up how you see it. Nothing changes instantaneously in a gradually heating bathtub. You'd be boiled to death before you, before you know it. Absolutely, absolutely. And I mean, a lot of people are saying, why are we bothering to stand up and say anything? Will it change anything? Will Trump see this? Will he care? Will it matter? To him, no. But perhaps to someone who does feel very marginalized, perhaps to the veterans who have lost their health care, perhaps to, you know, to the children who are being targeted, 
perhaps that will give them a bit of confidence and make them feel, yes, actually, I should stand up for myself. Thank you both very much. Well, uh, President Trump is going to be meeting the Prime Minister this morning. My colleague Anita McVeigh is at Downing Street. Anita. Joanna, thank you very much. Just before... Uh We talk a little bit more about what is happening here today. Uh, let's just take a look.